Demand more. Get all Max. Hey everybody, Steve Kukolo here. Dallas, Texas, leg day with All Max Nutrition. Excited to have you guys out. We're gonna be doing some of the unique stuff we like to do. Show you some of our technique and knock out some legs. Legs were, um, we like to split up in two days. We do a quad dominant, a hamstring dominant. Today we're doing quad dominant day. But uh, we touch on a little bit of hamstrings in the beginning to kind of get some, get everything warmed up, get everything lubed up kind of where, you know, we try to um, prevent any injuries. So we're gonna start, we do extensions, hamstrings to start, and then, uh, then we get into the fun stuff. So let's get started. The goal to our leg training is we do more volume than weight. We use good weight, but I think one of the big things that comes to the way we train is we shape muscle versus just train for strength. So the more outer quads we, we can get when you're on stage, the bigger legs appear. So, uh, what do you want? 100, 90, 80. <laughs> <laughs> we've talked about is uh, five by 20. We'll do five sets, 20 reps, um, adding weight every time. So we'll be able to go pretty heavy, but 20 reps is a good volume that we like to use. Uh, there's times we go 50 rep sets, 40 rep sets, um, but, but we never really go below 10 or 12 on leg press. But, uh, you know, I think if we did the six rep set, I don't think there's enough room on this machine that we would stack it. And um, that's, why, that's why we'll make, make the weight harder than it actually is. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Yes. Come on. The phallic measuring contest has begun. Oh, yeah, right, dude. That's just pain. Yeah, okay. See, this is self torture. We feel, you know, there's a lot of guys that are strong. You see, like powerlifters, they, they squat a ton of weight, they got big legs, but volume in our opinion is what shapes and gets your legs the best shape the most roundness which is bodybuilding what it's all about so that's why we go volume on legs So today we're just finishing up quads. Again, like I said, we split a quad dominant, hamstring dominant day. Really the big difference is we touch on a little bit of both each day, but 90% exercises we did today are gonna to be quads. And the reason we do that is if we did quads and hamstrings, it'd be like a two hour workout. Second reason is one's gonna get neglected over the other. Usually it's hamstrings that get neglected. So hamstrings are one of the body parts that most people neglect and it's a weakness, like calves or like traps or something like that. It's just one of those parts that usually get oversight. So we like to put a whole day energy and focus into that. Um, but today with quads, we do a lot of supersets, high volume, and we do more high volume on quads over most body parts because for one, your quads can take the volume because you're constantly walking on them. Your legs are used to volume, so you're gonna need to stimulate them. That's how we feel they respond best. 
and the um, you know we stimulated with some weight too. We went up to I think it was uh, 10 or 12 plates a side on leg press, and that I mean it's not a not an easy weight, but doing it for 20, 30 reps really hits volume with the weight. So. That's our main focus when we do quads, and you can see today, you know, there's a good pace, high volume, and then we're, we're taxed, we're sweating, we're breathing heavy, so it was a good workout. So hopefully you guys take something from this, learn a little bit, and uh, we'll sketch you at the next one. All Max Nutrition, the choice of champions for more than 15 years.